But when I know that I got to get stuff done, right? Because it's guaranteed that if I do these things and I do them in this order, I will obtain a specific result. I'm going to teach you guys how to set up the perfect tasks so that you can conquer your day every single day with ease and perfection. I'm about to show you, ladies and gentlemen, the ultimate productivity checklist. Not only am I telling you the importance of checklists and goal setting for your day, but I'm giving you the exact formula that I use. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and talk about the importance of goal setting. Now, we talked about the importance of goal setting because you need direction, but now it's how do you goal set? I call it my mastery checklist, right? Because it's not a to-do list. It's my checklist to accomplish mastery, right? So right off the bat, you know, my, my, my mindset and my lingo isn't that of, of doing, doing, doing. It's becoming a master, enjoying the process, the, the sweet kind of gratification of, of consistently elevating yourself, right? And the way that you do it is with mastering something. It's just mastering something. So let's say I got my to-do list for the day. You know, for some people, it'll be different, but something that's important for me, for example, is one that's important for me, right, is uh, working out. Okay, so let's set up, give, give me a couple to-do list uh, things, guys, on my, on my to-do list last for the day, and I'll explain the example to you guys. So uh, let's say we got reading, read every day, it's essential. We have, let's say I have a, a business call, then I have a client call, right, it's a different one. Because all of this is, it'll be, it'll be very much contingent on, on your day to day. And that's the beauty of this formula that I'm about to show you guys. It's really crazy because it'll, it'll hit home to a lot of, a lot of people check ads. That's a, that's a good one. And then let's see if we can do another one. Any other task? What other tasks should I put? Ecom journaling, uh, managing stores. Okay. So let's do, let's do fulfill orders. Okay, let's do a concept, a scenario that we have fulfill orders. This is our list of, of things that we need to accomplish for today. This is the list of things that we need to accomplish for today. Okay, so and, and when you wake up on a regular basis, if you if you're if you're a, 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 an entrepreneur, right, and then something that you should do every single day, highly recommended is you got to check your balances every single day. You got to be checking your balances. Now, people don't like checking their balances, uh, but you need to know what you're worth. I recommend doing that every single day or every other day. Super important. All right. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven things on our to-do list. Okay. So we are going to attribute to each one of these two numbers. The first one is we're going to assign a number based off of difficulty to this task. And then we're going to assign a number based on importance. And then we're going to do a little bit of math and we're going to see what pops out on the other end. And I'm going to explain it to you guys. The goal is to do the task with the highest level of added numbers first. So working out, ladies and gentlemen, that is a, from one, one to 10, right? One being difficult, 10 being extremely easy. What is your ability to work out? What is your ability to work out? The difficulty of it. I would say for most people, it's easy for them to work out, right? They just have to get on with their day, go to the gym, perfect. Importance of working out, Let's say it's a, it's a Tuesday, you're not crazy busy, right? That specific day, let's say the importance is a, is a 10 for sure. That one's always there. Then we have reading. What's the importance of reading? Let's just say it's a five, right? The, the difficulty of it depends on what you're reading, but a, a solid five if you're reading some intelligent books. The importance of reading, we're gonna give it based on the day because we got a business call, we got client calls, and we gotta check ads. Uh, I'm gonna give it an eight. I have my business call, right? It's my team call every single morning that happens at nine o'clock per se, every single day. The difficulty of the call is not difficult whatsoever, okay? My ability to accomplish this task, right? The importance of it, let's say it's a 10. Then we have our client call, okay? Same thing, client call, 10. Let's say the importance of the call, not really, not really important. It's not massively important, it's just a general checkup. So you say done seven check ads difficulty of it. They might get, it might get convoluted. It might require some time. I'm going to give it a five. Okay. And then the importance of it, you know, your ads are steady. We'll give it an eight, whatever. Fulfill orders. You're backlogged on orders. Ladies and gentlemen, you are back logged on orders. The ease of fulfilling those is a three. It's not very easy. You have, you're having massive logistic problems, but it's extremely important, right? Extremely important to get that out of the way. Now, 
I like to get the most important, the easiest tasks accomplished first that require very little time, but have massive importance and that accomplish a very, a very important difficulty. Now we have checking balances, right? Uh, it's, it's important, but difficulty it's a 10, right? It's not very difficult. And then, uh, the importance of it is, is a two, right? It's even though it's important, we can get it done. All right. So here we got 12, here we got 13, 13, 17, 20, 13, 20. Perfect. So our goal is to accomplish the tasks with the highest number first, because this is based off of my importance. This is based off of my importance. Okay. So the first thing I'm going to accomplish in my day based off of my chart of importance, working out next thing, business call next thing. And this is how I'm setting my day, right? So my day, my checklist is I'm doing this in this specific order and I don't move on to the next, next task unless the task that's done before is accomplished, right? So the next thing I'm going to do is my client call. We got tons of 13s here. So I'll go, I'll go the business route first, right? I'll fulfill orders. I'll check ads. I'll read and then I'll check my balances, right? So what I've done right now is I've removed emotion and the, the feeling of wanting and not wanting to do something. And I've left it completely up to what my rule set, my rule set dictates my operating system. Okay. So it's no longer, you know, you writing shit on the checklist and you're like, well, you know, I'm going to go do this one because this one's easier or you know what? I don't feel like doing this one. I'm going to come back and doing it afterwards. So what you're doing now is you're saying I commit to this task list in this specific order based off of the level of difficulty and the level of importance. I combine both of those and I have a successful metric on how I'm supposed to live every single day.